Welcome to Root Beer Circus. All right. This is a bedtime review of the movie Spider-Man No, no Way, Way Home. Home. We no have Way Home. we have a special guest with us, Mr. Joe Palmer. Joe, um, haven't seen you in a while. You look great. Thank uh, you. Do you have any? You have like a Twitch page, right? Can we? Can you plug that? I, I, I guess. Um, I don't plug go it. on often, so plug it. Uh, Twitch.tv slash WeChunk. Yeah. Give me your money. Yeah, dude. Oh, I want it too, though. Give him money. Okay. Yeah, give us your money. Yeah. First impressions go. Uh. Yes. It made me happy and it made me cry and. I cried so much. Sammy cried so much. I cried so a much. A lot of emotions. I punched my dad. Um. <laughs> Overall, I like I'm into it. I was very much about it. Yeah, I was about. I it. had very high expectations because I kept watching those goddamn trailers, and I was like, I "Oh, even, I didn't even see a trailer." <sighs> I was so anti spoiler for this that like I just wanted like the whole time I went into it like with an idea of what I wanted to happen and everything I wanted happened. Yeah. So yeah. Well, same. one there's one thing that I didn't like, but I guess. We'll talk about that later. I wasn't going to... No spoilers yet. Jesus. Yeah, no spoilers. spoilers. Yeah. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really enjoyed this movie. This was... Um, I did too. I've seen all... You know, I saw the... Sp- I actually saw the first Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire in the theater. Fuck so yeah. when I'm sitting there in the theater, I'm like, this is like such a... Too. This was like 20 years ago, right? When it came out, like 2001, two, maybe? So- Wait, did you like Doctor Strange in this yeah, movie? Yeah, he was the wizard. Dude, I thought he was like kind of like a dickhead, a sucky boy. I yeah, thought he was like yeah, a dickhead. Uh, he was I a little know. cocky, but that's kind of his mo, right? He was yeah, cocky, I guess. But he also felt like he wanted to be like Peter's cool uncle, but also try to discipline him at the same time. Yeah. True, you can't have it both ways. Can't you either got to be Aunt May or you got to be whoever's the opposite of Aunt May. Yeah, some like chaotic that, being. Right. Um, I don't know. Like I like Benny Bum Cunderdum. But yeah, me too. I <laughs> I liked his sweats. I love Doctor Strange in this movie. Yeah, I liked his outfit. I think um, they didn't know what to like what angle to take with him because the fact that he agreed to do what he did in the movie we'll get into spoilers later. Um, I don't think it's a very Doctor Strange thing to do. He would never do that. All right, uh, spoilers okay. open. Spoilers open. Spoiler alert. The best, the brotherhood of the traveling Spider-Men was so good. They made me so happy. All yeah, three when of all them. Those, when all those kids came out and wore the same pants and said, hey, I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> like, that was a really good part. I don't know why they put it in there, but I think it worked really well for them. How did you just negate my spoiler? <laughs> <laughs> that was another powerful thing, too, is like Spider-Man really grew up as a character. There was a really great arc in this movie where like... With a little help from his Spidey he was, friends. He was like... Yeah. I want to try to fix things for people because what I've done is is screwed things up. And then when he had a chance to like tell them the truth again, he kept it a secret, which was pretty cool. I like that. So like what like this kind of leads to a spoilers and b like what can Spider Man do after this? Right? Because it kind of did feel like they were tying a knot on the story for now. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I I did read somewhere that they've signed him for three more movies, though, at some point. Okay. Yeah. I love yeah. everyone. I was hoping to see an upside-down Spider-Man kiss with with the Maguire again, but it's fine. We don't all get what we want. What else was great about this movie? Uh, Zendaya, Ned. I mean, Willem Dafoe, guy. Willem Dafoe. All the new all the new villains coming back and being just, like, kind of reskinned a little bit. Like, I love that. Yeah. That was really great. Especially, um... Jamie Foxx was incredible. Alfred Molina. It looked amazing. That character is way cooler than 
I thought he was. Dude, Dude nope. Ned knows magic, by the way. Yeah. Hell yeah. Ned, I love I Ned. Want Ned to steal MJ and then Peter Parker to murder Ned. You know, I thought at the end of the movie that, you know, they were going to, that Damn. Ned and her and her would be like kissy kissy and he's going to be like, oh. but they didn't quite do that. But I, I feel like that might happen now. I feel like they wanted to do that, but didn't want to make everyone really mad. Yeah, that's too much. They'll do it in the next one, I bet, because they're gonna be in college. All right, well, let's um, let's give this baby a rating. Um, we go like oh. one out of ten. I'm giving this drum roll a <laughs> nine out of ten. Ooh. I loved it. I because it just brought back old memories of the old, the, especially Tobey Maguire Spider Man. And they just, they had the balls to pull off what they pulled off with all these characters from all these different movies, and it worked, and it, I loved it. Samantha, what's your review? 9.2, because that's when I was born, and I love that shit. 9.2 out of 10. Wow. Yeah, it was a good-ass movie. It made me, I sobbed, I cried a lot, and then when I thought I was done crying, I started crying again, like, very quickly. So many yeah. times. So many they times. They don't give you a lot of room to not cry. No. Right? No, they don't. No, I was sobbing, and so was the man next to me. Not Steve. <laughs> mm. <laughs> For So, the way I, like, rate Marvel movies is different than I rate, like, regular movies, right? or, like, hero movies. Because I feel like a hero movie is its own sort of event, right? You're not going to a hero movie to get, like, the best storyline or like the best dialogue or whatever you're going to see stuff blow up no i actually really like the scale i like that approach to the scale but like so for a hero movie i would give this a 10 out of a 10 wow this had everything it needed it had the fun like comic book elements it had the fun villains and heroes the ups and downs like it made you feel every emotion. I would just, I would give you a rebuttal because you didn't get your upside down kiss. So, I mean, I would, I would say that for you, this would probably like a 9.9 9 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 9.69 out of 10 because I needed it to be a little more horny. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that. Any, other, any last thoughts about it? I, I don't know why anyone would watch this who hasn't seen the movie, but if you haven't seen the movie and you need any last push there like go see it it like brought so many childhood emotions back like like <laughs> like there was a part of the movie where i'm like am i gonna get a spider-man tattoo <laughs> how emotional I was. Like, yeah so my thing is why haven't you got one already yet that's my thing you and i have instead of matching appointments yet. oh let's do it i'll get it on my other butt cheek my my first butt cheeks taken but spider-man can go on the other one I was going to say we could get Spider-Man tramp stamps where he's, like, sprawled out <laughs> yeah. across the back. Well, Joe Palmer, thank you so much for being a special mm. guest on our little show, Bedtime Reviews. Uh, we love you. We'll give you a little smooch. Mwah. Love you so much. Love and you. Uh, we'll see you next time on Bedtime Reviews with Root Beer Circus. Mwah.